think I'll just stop here for the night. It's a beautiful spot yeah, near the loch and it's one of the great advantages of, of being in Scotland that we can uh, pull in to the side of the road on a lay-by and spend the night here perfectly lawfully. But unfortunately a, a Highland councillor has raised a petition urging the Scottish Government to create um, no camping zones throughout Scotland, similar to the controversial uh, no camping bylaws that exist in the Loch Lomond and Trossachs National Park. This petition was prompted by um, concerns about perceived problems on the North Coast 500, uh, a marketing initiative that depends how you see it, has either been a phenomenal success or has brought unsustainable levels of traffic to single track roads uh, and an area that's environmentally fragile. The major problem, as Councillor uh, Kirstine Curry sees it, is that camper vans and, and motorhomes are, are, are dumping waste, they're leaving lots of litter behind uh, and um, there's no excuse for that, that is um, absolutely unacceptable. But she's also complaining that motorhomes and camper vans are spending the night in laybys rather than use local campsites, despite the fact that spending the night in a layby on a public road is perfectly legal in Scotland. While I have some sympathy with Councillor Curry and indeed the people who live along the route of the North Coast 500, I have absolutely no sympathy with the concept of uh, no camping zones. Anybody who's visited the Loch Lomond and Throssocks National Park will be aware of these large signs that announce uh, your entry to a, a, a no camping area and they'll be aware of the negativity and the unwelcome message that these signs spread. The signs that I believe should have no place in a national park and kind of run contrary to the whole spirit of Scotland's internationally acclaimed uh, access legislation as in the Land Reform Scotland Act of 2003. I find it extremely curious that Scotland is a nation that strives to be an international tourist destination and when something like the North Coast 500 comes along and is immediately successful people are raised up who just simply want to stop folk coming. It reminds me of the old postcard um, of the, the, the old crofter sitting um, by his house and watching the tourist traffic pass by and uh, the caption says something like, oh hi, can they not just stay at home and post their money? It seems that attitude is alive and well in some parts of Scotland. Scotland needs tourism. We have a, an international reputation for being hospitable, but large signs at the side of the road telling people what they can do and what they can't do is not hospitable. Um, it simply sends out the wrong message. What we need to do in Scotland is create the infrastructure and the facilities for visiting camper vans and, and motor homes. I find it absolutely astonishing that Highland Council have closed down public toilets and forcing visitors to go behind a wall to have a pee or a shit. On the continent, and, and particularly in New Zealand, Camper vans and motorhomes are well catered for with a network of, of airs and disposable points for, for dumping waste. And that's what we need in Scotland. And here's another thing. Continental campsites tend to be relatively inexpensive, especially the, the municipal camping sites. But I've noticed in the past two or three years here in Scotland, the, the, the cost of using a campsite has gone through the roof. It's not unusual now for, say, a family of, of three or four in a, a wee camper van like this one to pay about 40 quid a night just to get a wee bit of ground to spend the night uh, and maybe an electric hookup. That's kind of unsustainable for a lot of families. So what do they do? They choose to spend some nights camping by the side of the road. My advice to the Scottish Government is to simply ignore this ill-conceived petition and think about creating the infrastructure that is required. The motorhome and camper van market could be immense in Scotland. It could be economically very beneficial to local communities that are struggling. 
I know when my wife and I go away in the camper van, we'll you know we'll buy coffee during the day in in, in coffee shops and tea rooms. We'll invariably buy a meal in a pub or a restaurant at night and have a couple of drinks. We spend money in fuel in petrol stations and we bring money into these areas that are in many cases kind of struggling financially. I'm very aware of the myths that exist about people filling up in Carlisle uh, buying all the food in the supermarkets there and boasting of not spending a penny in Scotland. But these people are few and far between, if they exist at all. Camper van and motorhome owners are people on holiday. They come to Scotland to relax, to enjoy what the country has to offer and to spend some money in the coffee shops and the pubs and the restaurants. But they need the infrastructure, they need the facilities. And if the Scottish Government provides that, we'll all see the benefits. And I think that would be good for all of us.